super retro force. Hey everyone, we have a big old sale running right now on the Nintendo eShop, and for today we're going to look at games that are marked down to an all-time low and under $10. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and let me know down below if there are any games that you might pick up. If you're new here, welcome to the channel, and for those of you that have been here before, thank you as always for hanging out. Alright everyone, and with all that said, we'll go ahead and dive in. Alright, and we'll start with Bravery and Greed, which is a 2D roguelike beat-em-up that offers both local and online co-op for up to 4 players. The main campaign should last between 5 and 10 hours, but there is a ton of replay value here, and along your journey you'll be searching for specific items to unlock an ancient door that holds untold fortune. The dungeons are randomized and each character can be customized, plus they all play a bit different from one another, and on top of that there are also a few extra game modes including the PvP arena, which allows you to take on friends or random people online. Right now it's on sale for just $2.99, a new low, and the deal ends on the 27th. Up next we have Greek Memories of Azur, which is a captivating and beautifully animated platformer where we play as siblings on a journey to reunite with our lost brother. Along the way you'll have to switch between the two main characters and utilize their unique abilities You'll do this to solve intricate puzzles and navigate through the gorgeous, hand-drawn environments. The story should last about 6 to 8 hours and it's filled with danger. The gameplay encourages exploration and showcases the strength that comes with a strong family bond. Right now it's matching an all-time low at just $3.99. The deal ends on the 27th and the download is around 1.5 gigs. Pronti is a single-player metroidvania that takes place underwater, and it offers about 8-10 to 10 hours of fun gameplay. The download is a little under 3 gigs. Now, I know underwater levels are usually the worst, and so an entire game underwater doesn't really sound that enticing. However, the game is actually a lot of fun. The enemy and environments are varied enough to keep the game from getting stale, plus the boss battles are really good too. On top of that, they have a boss rush mode for added replay value as well, it looks gorgeous here on the console, controls well, and the best part, it's on sale at an all-time low, just $4.49, and the deal ends on the 23rd. Next, we have Tiny Ken, which is a single-player 3D adventure game with a download around 2.3 gigs, and it offers about 6 to 10 hours of fun gameplay, where we have to use our tiny pals to create bridges or ladders in order to solve puzzles as we work our way through an insect-infected house. It's basically a collect-a-thon at the core, and the gameplay is incredibly fun. The soundtrack is very relaxing, the colorful visuals, and of course the actual tiny Ken themselves, it all looks great here on the console. It's the type of game that sucks you in and becomes really hard to put down. Right now it's on sale for just $6.24, and the deal ends on the 21st. Deadcraft the Deluxe Edition is a single-player isometric action game with a download around 3.5 gigs and it should last roughly 15 to 20 hours before wrapping up. Now in this one we play as a human-zombie hybrid after the world has been reduced to rubble. You have to craft and wield a wide variety of different weapons, using materials that you'll find along the way of course, and transforming between the two forms is pretty cool, and both the human and zombie form come with buffs and weaknesses. You can also harvest zombies in a garden type sim portion of the game which is pretty wild. Now the deluxe edition includes both DLC packs and it's on sale for just $7.49 with the deal ending on the 20th. Up next we have Garlic which is a single player action platformer with a small download at just 235 megabytes. It offers more than 10 hours of gameplay and they do a great job of mixing it up as you play too. In addition to the standard 2D platforming, you have a ton of mini-games and changes of perspective. On top of that, the movement feels amazing with tons of mobility, and of course the controls are tight. The boss battles are a lot of fun as well, and while the game can be pretty difficult, they do have a bunch of checkpoints to help out. Right now it's on sale for just $7.49, marked down to half price, and the deal ends on the 23rd. Indivisible is an action RPG here on the console. It offers local co-op for up to 4 players and comes with a download just under 6 gigs. 
Now this one features hand-drawn art and animations and offers more than 20 hours of gameplay that combines great storytelling with real-time combat mechanics. We follow a young woman as she attempts to protect her home from invasion and she has special powers that allows her to conjure up versions of the people that she meets on her journey that can then fight alongside her. It's definitely a cool and unique game and right now it's on sale for just $7.49 matching an all-time low and the deal ends on the 13th. New Super Lucky's Tale is a single player 3D platformer that offers about 8 to 10 hours of story and the download is just over 7.5 gigs. In this one we're back following Lucky on his latest adventure through the Book of Ages, this time with a fun story and a variety of cool different levels to work your way through. The game is also a collect-a-thon as well with interesting levels and engaging puzzles to solve, plus the characters are cool as heck too. I'm a big, big fan of games like this, and right now you can pick up New Super Lucky's Tale for just $7.49. The deal ends on the 19th. Up next, we have Mighty Goose, which is a run-and-gun shooter for one or two players in local co-op. The game has a download around 270 megabytes, and while the main campaign isn't very long, only lasting maybe a couple of hours, there's definitely a ton of replay value, so that shouldn't be an issue. Now you have your main weapon and your secondary weapons, battle vehicles, and you can even find and collect different sidekick type companions to battle with you as well. The art and sound design are once again top quality, and if you're interested in picking up Mighty Goose, make sure to grab it up before the deal ends on the 18th. It's marked down to just $7.49. Astral Flux is a new 2D puzzle platformer from Cosmo Cat. The download is a little over 700 megabytes, and it has a good bit of replay value due to the roguelike elements of the game. The worlds are randomly generated, so each run is a bit different from the last, as are the upgrades and the challenges that you'll find within them. On top of that, the developers are still adding new features to the game all the time. It controls well here on the console, and it's on sale with a 33% discount until the 14th. It's marked down to just $9.99. Super XYX is a brand new vertical shooter from East Asia Soft. The download is just under 200 megabytes, and this one gives us six different stages, each with their own unique boss fight at the end. You have multiple pilots with the ability to unlock a few more, and you can even unlock extra game modes as well. The music is intense, the bullet hell action is nuts, and I really enjoyed the game. It's great for on-the-go gaming and quick play sessions, and right now it's on sale for just $7.99, with the deal ending on the 13th. Hades is one of the most challenging roguelikes here on the console. It's pretty badass too because you get to play as the Prince of the Underworld, taking on powerful enemies with the help of ancient gods. The art and animation is incredible, the music is outstanding, and the gameplay is incredibly addictive. Now the first few runs are pretty rough, but as you earn some permanent upgrades, the game does get a little easier. For real, this is a must play if you still haven't. Right now it's on sale for just $9.99. The deal ends on the 12th, and you'll need a little under 6 gigs for the install. Alright everyone, here are a few other deals to check out while you're already on the eShop.
all right everyone that wraps up another video thank you as always for hanging out please remember to leave a like and let me know what games you might pick up in the comments down below please be safe have a good weekend stay tuned for more deals coming later on and with that take care everyone